First of all, there's no such thing as death. Death is just an illusion that we all buy into. We buy into this illusion because there's no real good answer. There's no real good answer about the end of this particular cycle of your life. So we call it death. And then others have bought into the idea that that's the end. So then we create all kinds of gestures to celebrate that end. And then that illusion gets more and more and more indoctrinated into the culture. So there's no way to have this conversation without even saying the word death. Even I myself couldn't avoid it, what to do when you're dead. But God says that whenever people live in a time that is forgotten, Whenever people live in a time that is forgotten, they imagine that what they are is what there is. So what they see is what they are. It's not until they learn that what they are is more than what they see that they can imagine an elevated way of being. And in this elevated way of being, the body passes. People, individuals who have passed before the corrections have been made are individuals who are working their way to become more enlightened from a planet space. And they cannot do it. It's impossible. Because your light being is brighter, lighter, more fantastical than what the body could ever be. The body is a collection of molecular constructs that are formed around the spirit. The spirit animates them and makes it go. The body go. Sorry, let me get back to this here. God says, when you pass, there is more to you than you ever imagined, and that's your first thought. That's your first thought. There is more to you than you ever imagined. The second thought is, where do I go now? Because you're, you wake up alive. You know, the body passes, you wait, you're still alive. Where do I go now? It's in that asking that determines exactly where you're going. Because if you think you're going to hell, you're going to get stuck going, where is hell? <laughs> There's no hell. <laughs> No, it's like this, because there's no memory. There's no memory in uh, spirit. Memory is, is in the brain matter, right? So there's very little information that's going to allow them to do much more than this. <laughs> there's no hell, you know? So... Um, so the next thing that has to be done then for this confused spirit is that they need to be in contact with someone who was born to help. And these are mediums. Are there mediums in here? Any mediums? Who can see the dead, dead people? Yeah? Well, you have a huge job. You have a very, very important job. There are millions and millions and millions of lost souls who are trying desperately to figure out what to do next. And you were born to help them. Okay? And all of us 
all of us physical beings, bodies, are here to help them pass over because they'll only listen to us because they think they're still a body. They can't imagine being more, greater. And once they do imagine that, then they ascend into the lighter, brighter energy, which is the realm of God.